If you are an international student in Canada or you aspire to become one in the near future, this video is for you. Today, the government of Canada has made some major announcements, probably some announcements that you're not going to like. In this, we are going to discuss exactly about that. This video is all about international students and the major announcements that the government of Canada has made today. Do watch this video till the end because this video is going to answer a lot of questions about the extension of PGWP, about the policy of limiting the work to 20 hours per week. There are a bunch of shocking announcements for all those students who are already in Canada and also for many of you who are waiting, who want to apply to come to Canada next year in 2024. Do watch this video till the end. Okay, let me start this video with all the announcements that came in for the international students who want to come to Canada in 2024. Specifically, if you're going to apply after January 1st, 2024, then there are a couple of major announcements for you that I want to tell you about. So number one, immigration minister has told that they're going to significantly limit the number of study permits they're going to issue in 2024. In the last couple of years, we have seen a surge, a high rise in the number of international students coming to Canada and of course, the number of applications getting approved. So today they announced that they would be taking multiple measures, including limiting the number of visas that they would be issuing. However, the immigration minister has denied it. But the sentiment in Canada is that immigration and maybe the international students especially are making the housing crisis worse. It is just a game of demand and supply. The supply of housing is very limited while the influx of immigrants is very high. So probably that's one reason why they are trying to limit the number of study visas that they would be issuing at least for 2024 and going ahead we'll get to know more about it. Okay, now let's talk about the second big announcement. They've announced that all the students who would be applying for the study visa after 1st of January 2024 the government of Canada is actually doubling the cost of living financial requirements for international students. So until now, you had to prove that you had 10,000 Canadian dollars in bank account, probably in the form of GIC. Now you would need to prove that you have $20,635. So that 10,000 would be a number of the past and now you would need to have $20,635. So if I convert these numbers into Indian currencies, now you would need to show a little less than 13 lakh rupees in your bank account, maybe as GIC. And this is apart from the tuition fee and the traveling cost. This amount is only to prove that yes, you'd be able to survive in Canada with the high cost of living everywhere around here in Canada. You'd be able to survive. You would need to have at least this amount. And this amount would be rising almost every year. So probably this is the least amount in 2024. 25 onwards, you would see even higher amounts. Though these amounts won't rise by such a big margin. It was probably the first time in a couple of decades that they have actually increased this number. Since early 2000s, the number has been around 10,000. Now they've increased it to more than 20,000. Okay, now let's talk about a couple of big announcements that came in for the international students who are already there in Canada. So number one, it is about the PGWP, the Postgraduate Work Permit. From the last couple of years, they have been giving an extension of 18 months after your PGWP expires. But they have now told that after 31st of December 2023, that is this year, just a couple of weeks left now, they won't be giving any more extensions. Of course, it is a very bad news for all those people whose work permit were actually expiring in 2024. I definitely know a few students who were eagerly waiting for this announcement. They were hoping that somehow Canada would give this extension one more time. But I guess that's not the case. They are not going to extend it after 31st of December 2023. I mean, you are still eligible to apply if your work permit is expiring. But if your work permit, the PGWP is expiring next year, then you won't be able to get an extension for it. I know this is going to hurt a lot of people and also the next announcement as well. The next announcement is also one of the most awaited ones. It's about the number of hours an international students can work. So earlier, 
until November of 2022, one year ago, there was a limit of 20 hours per week on international students during their study time that they can actually work. But in mid-November 2022, they actually removed this cap of 20 hours. So international students were able to work for 40 hours, 50 hours if they can. So this policy would still continue till April of 2024. But after that, they're going to change the policy. What they're going to change, they're not sure about it yet. But they've announced that it would certainly not be the case that you'd be able to work for any number of hours you want. Probably there would be a limit maybe of 30 hours. They're trying to work it out. But right now they've announced that yes, it won't be a permanent thing that students would be allowed to work any number of hours they want during their study time. Of course, this is also another setback for international students because with the increased cost of living, somehow if they had less money or maybe if they had to pay a higher rent, they were able to support it with extended work hours. However, they've said that mostly the students actually work for around 20 hours. And if you ask me, I think it's not a bad decision considering that if you have come here to Canada for studying purpose, it might be very difficult for an individual to actually complete their studies full time and at the same time actually continue working full time as well. If you're talking about working for 40 hours or more, it's working full time. So studying and working full time at the same time is very difficult. Probably you're compromising your studies if you're doing so. So yes, it might not be a bad decision if they actually change it later to 30 hours. 30 hours would still be better than 20 hours for sure. So from May 2024 onwards, you may still be able to work for a few more hours. But mind it, this policy isn't decided yet. They haven't announced anything for it yet. One more announcement they made for all the students who are planning to come in fall of 2024. So earlier they announced that if you're completing less than 50% of your studies online, which means you're not physically present in Canada, maybe you're studying from home for a few months, then in that case, you would still be eligible to get your degree. But now, from fall of 2024, if you're starting your studies from then, then this rule won't be applicable as well. Which means now we're getting back to the rules from pre-COVID era, it would again be the same. Okay, having said that, I'm sure most of you wouldn't have liked these announcements but as I said, it is what it is. We have to take it with a pinch of salt and strategize your next and strategize your next steps accordingly. It's very important to be informed. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'll keep doing in the next video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please put your comments, your feedback in the comment section below. What do you think about these announcements? please let me know in your comment section. Thanks again for watching this video.